Hi gorgeous, welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today, let's up with my hair. This is kind of like a follow-up video to my current favorite drugstore products. I asked if you guys wanted to see my current favorite high-end products and um, pretty much everyone said yes. So that's what I'm bringing you today. You guys know I use a lot of drugstore products. I, I've done a lot of looks using drugstore products and uh, I wanted to do this video because there are some real gems that are high-end that I think are completely worth the money and I wanted to share them with you since you wanted to know. So let's get started. I guess I'll just do it randomly because that's kind of how I have them displayed. I have 10 products, technically, yeah, 10, well, technically 11, but two of them are same thing, two different colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The very first thing is just the classic that I think everyone should have in their collection, and it is the Naked Palette. This is just the Urban Decay Original Naked Palette. This is still the original one I ever purchased, um, which I think I purchased, oh goodness, I don't even know how long ago, but this is still my all-time favorite neutral palette. If you are a neutral lover, then I think this is definitely the palette for you. It's definitely some, It's definitely one you need to have in your collection um, because you can just do so much with it. You can go very, very neutral. You can go sort of mid-tone, really dark and smoky, and then you've got these sort of plummy and gray dark shades that can just make a look even darker, even smokier. This is a total classic. I have all the Naked palettes. Um, I don't have the Naked Smoky, so I don't have all the Naked palettes, but I do have the Naked 1, 2, 3, and then I also have the Naked Basics 1 and 2, which I really like, but for just an overall palette, if you are a neutral color lover, this is going to be a, a, a definite must. So that's that one. The second thing is a bronzer. I love this bronzer. I do love my, uh, um, I do have a couple of drugstore bronzers that I love, but this is a high-end bronzer that I just, this is probably my favorite high-end bronzer. This is the Buxom, um, Buxom Hot Escapes Bronzer in Maldives. I love this bronzer. First of all, it smells so good. And second of all, it's just the perfect tone for giving your, your face a nice sort of glowy tan without it being too glowy. It's not, it's funny because it's pigmented, but it's not too pigmented, which is right over here, which I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's important to me because I don't want to put something on and just have this like streak across my face. So I love this. It's such a good bronzer. It's one of my all time favorites. Um, and it smells like you're on vacation. So a definite must for me. Okay, sticking to face. I love all of my Milani blushes, all of my NYX blushes, but these are high-end blushes that I think are absolutely worth every penny, and I've had them in my collection for a long time, and I love them. They are the Lorac Baked Matte Satin Blushes. Now, I ha I'm kind of combining these two into one. My favorite colors are Exposed and Velvet Rope. Exposed is that perfect spring and summer color. It's that, I don't know why they're called matte, by the way, because they're not matte. This definitely have got sheen to them. If you love that corally pink, sort of innocent flush to the face kind of glow, then this is the perfect summer and spring blush. I love this blush. It's probably my most worn blush of all time. It's phenomenal. And then Velvet Rope is one you can easily wear all year long, but it works particularly good in the cooler months because it's got like that mauve undertone. It's gorgeous. So. That's the bronzer, that's Velvet Rope, and this is the um, Exposed. Such beautiful colors, I love this. And there's no, when you put your brush into this, there's no powder everywhere. It's not like tons of product is flying off all over the place. It's just really, really good. Um, the consistency of these powders are phenomenal, and I just love them. So and I think they are worth every penny, and you'll have these for a really long time, too. Okay. Next product, okay, so I guess I can do uh, this. This is my MAC eyebrow pencil. Now I know everybody sort of goes crazy over the Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz. I don't know if it's just my imagination. Just to, for me, it didn't work as well as this one. This one's much smaller. I think the color works really well for my dark hair. I use the color Spiked. Um, I don't know, I've had, let me tell you, I show you, I have a couple backups already. They're in the back of my drawer. I always have to have backups of this because it's my all-time favorite brow product and it does work 
wonders. Now, if I really want a very bold brow like today, for those days where I want a bold brow and I want my brows to stay on forever and ever, then this is what I sort of trace over this with. And this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and the color I use is dark brown. This is awesome. This is waterproof. This You can swim in this. You can sweat with this on and your eyebrows are not going anywhere. So, um, it's great. And I love that if I use if I use this brush with it, which is my favorite brush to use with it, I can't find it. I believe it's the number, this is, it. it's the number 12 brush. Like these two together will give you like that perfect brow and um, it's bulletproof pretty much. So definitely a must have for me because I've got some brow issues. Okay, this to me is a must have. By the way, I put on a couple tracks of my old extensions just for a little thickness and a little bit of length. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. I haven't worn extensions in years and I never really do, but I wanted to put them in because, um, and I have layers all throughout my hair, and they were cut by a professional um, stylist. They were sort of cut to fit my layers or whatever, but it feels so heavy. Anyway, this is the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder. Now I've got quite a few colors, but this is the one in Rich Vanilla because I can easily use this all year long. I can use this all winter, but I can also use this in the summer. I can use this pretty much all the time. The Laura Mercier Mineral Powder is the best mineral powder I have ever used, and I've used a ton of mineral powders, but this is by far my favorite. It leaves your skin with a little dew. I don't want to say dewiness because it's not dewy. It's just a little bit more vibrant than most mineral powders. A lot of mineral powders are quite matte and they're quite um, masking. I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm totally saying this wrong, but the point is a lot of mineral powders, I feel like they go onto the skin a little bit too heavy, a little bit too, you can notice the powder sort of, sit, sort of sitting on the skin. This isn't like that. This gives you coverage while still giving your face a nice glow. It's amazing. This is definitely such a treasured product for me in my collection. I have three different colors um, because I can never live without it no matter what time of year. So a must have and if you are in the market for a mineral powder, I suggest you give this one a try because it, um, it's awesome. I love it. Okay. On the topic of face, I'm going totally backwards with this, but that's okay, because we're just chilling out and hanging out today. Um, this is another Laura Mercier product. This is the foundation primer, the one in Radiance. Now, this is the one that gives you quite a glow. So if you have oily skin, you're not gonna like this. But for those of us with normal to dry skin, and if your skin is anything like mine, where in the winter it likes to sort of hibernate in the Sahara, um, then this is a product that you will love. It helps with a little bit, it does help with longevity of my foundation, but most importantly, it gives me that perfect luminous base. It's not too luminous, it's tacky enough to really, so that foundation really adheres to it, but I just love, I love this product. Like I said, it's dewy, it's, I love it. But it's not, I don't know how to explain it, it's right over here. It's dewy, but it's not like the Dior Skin Glow Maximizer or whatever. That one is like sparkle. That one has got like serious, serious glow factor. This one just gives you like a sheen underneath your foundation. It's awesome. A complete, complete must have, especially if you have dry skin. Okay. This, the NARS Sheer Glow, not Sheer Glow. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use in the color, I use the color Custard. Now there's some mixed reviews on this product and I myself have mixed feelings about this throughout the year. This is not one I find myself reaching in the winter months because my under eyes tend to get really, really dry in the winter months and really any concealer at all doesn't, um, doesn't really look that great because like I said, my under eyes are super, super dry even though I do wear an under eye cream in the morning and at night. Um, but nothing beats this in the spring and summer. This, to me, is so similar to the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline, except this is a little bit thicker, therefore provides a bit more coverage. But I don't know, For I feel like the Maybelline Fit Me is like the thinner version of this, if that makes any sense. I love this concealer. I already purchased another one because I'm running out of my custard, and this will be my third 
the, my third one, which is saying a lot. Um, but it's a great concealer if you're someone that's got dark under eye circles and you have normal under eye, like in terms of your, it's not dry or uh, oily, you will love this. Okay, two more products. This is probably, probably one of my all-time favorite highlighters. I'm a huge fan of Bobbi Brown um, Shimmer Brick Compacts. A huge fan. I think I have every single one of them. I think I'm missing one or pink quartz, I think, like the really pink ones, um, because it just, the, the, that pink color kind of just sits on top of the skin and doesn't look that good on me. So, but this is one of my favorites. I love bronze. Bronze is a great one, but this is one that I really fell in love with over the summer, and it's in the color beige. It is I mean, saying it's gorgeous is an understatement, but another product that I don't even know if you'll be able to tell, that when you sort of dip your brush into it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, when you dip your brush into it, it's not like powder all over the place. Now, the Becca ones I really like, but those are the kind that when you sit your brush in that powder, although that powder feels so luxurious when you go ahead and swipe it, there's just powder everywhere. There's powder sort of raining on your face. This is not like that. This is just that creamy, perfectly packed, I don't know how to describe it, but this is the color beige. Can you see that glow? Yep. That is it. It's, it's gorgeous. And another product that looks good all year round. Um, it's just phenomenal. Okay. Last but certainly not least, I won't go th um, into it too, too long because I think I've mentioned this product a million and one times. It, it is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Setting Spray. I've mentioned this a million times and it deserves to be mentioned a million more times because it's awesome. If you love Fix Plus and if you love a long lasting setting spray, then you'll love this because it's those two combined. Now the Fix Plus is just a little tiny bit more dewy, not by much, but a little bit, but this gives you the longevity. It is by far the best setting spray I have ever used and I literally look forward to spritzing my face with this every day because it's just so good. I don't know how to explain it, but it's so good. It lasts for so long. It feels good on the skin. It's just, it's the best. I'm gonna have to just spritz. I have to spritz because it's just the best. Sorry if I keep touching my hair, but it's really hot in this room. So that's why I do that. And I don't look in the viewfinder to check myself out. I'm looking because it's got like a little icon that tells me I'm recording. And if you only knew how many times I have sat here, recorded videos and realized I was not recording or that the camera died because of that little button, go that little dot goes away, um, I'd be a millionaire if I had a dollar for every time that happened. That's why I have to constantly check. I'm not checking myself out. I'm just checking to make sure it's all good. I'm in focus. The light is on. The button is red, means we're recording, life is good. So, the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix, a complete must have. This will last you a long time unless you're me and therefore you like to literally bathe yourself in this every day, then it might not last that long, but this is fantastic and I think you need it in your life. So, those are my current favorite makeup products that are higher end. I will list all of them down below for you. For those of you, those of you who might ask, my necklace is from Express. Mm -hmm. My earrings are from Betsy Johnson, and on my lips, I am wearing the Milani um, doo -doo -doo -doo, Milani lip creams. I'm wearing, let's see, Lust. All over the all over the lip, and then in the very center, I just dabbed a little bit of Adore, just to give it a little bit of that more pouty look. I'm doing, I'm testing all of my liquid lipsticks to just sort of do like a showdown because I've got a lot of them, so that I can report back and tell you which one is really worth it. So that's everything. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you want to see next, and I will see you next time.